it's annoying because I'm just feeling rather impatient. Again, I'm just thinking like about the whole part of exile thing, and I can't upload any of that till I got this yeah, done. So, <laughs> so I'm just thinking like the sooner I get this done, the better. But at the same time, I do want to, you know, enjoy my time with it. Oh, no. So it's a, um, it's an annoying catch, ain't it? But anyway, keep going. Did that even make sense? Let me just kill you, on principle. So. Maybe we should change back to Ard. He's an Ard man. Okay, I apologize, that was terrible. But anyway, um, what was I saying? But yeah, uh, in the back of my mind, it's kind of, it's kind of making me impatient. I just keep thinking, you know what? I want to, you know, get this done as soon as I can, but at the same time, I don't want to rush too much. So it's a, it's a duality kind of thing going on. It's irritating. Yes, that makes sense. I'm always puzzled as to whether I even make a lick of sense or not. There was a fight here. Two dwarves and something big. There was a fight here. Two dwarves and something big. Wounded dwarf tried to flee, bleeding heavily. Clawed the rock. Must have been angry and strong. A dwarf like went rain. this way. <laughs> and talking over yourself there, Grault. I think it said a dwarf went this way. Suffocated. Are we gonna get to fight the thing the other witcher killed? From the looks of it, we are. Oh, so I'm having a vague recollection to an uh, to an episode of Grimm. The Roots pinning, killing people was a beastie in that. But I'm sure that's kind of a common enough thing anyway, so it's... But that's just my frame of reference, like. Ah, this is where the other Deep one went. wound on his back. Bled to death. Everything says Leshen, a young one. Must have arrived here recently. Need to find its totem. Crows serve lessons. Should find some near the totem. Not a lessons, birds. False trail. Looks like no sign of a totem. All right, so there's only two more options. This one. Not a missions bird. Well, this one. Trail. Kind of narrows it down. Oh, so that's what that oh, no. thing we keep saying. A Leshen's totem. Now, to destroy it, I to piss it off and make it leave its lair. Punch it. Fine art. Fucking 
teleportation. Just suddenly I just booted it forward. And yeah, it can actually teleport. Just what we need, yet more teleporting enemies. How has anything survived here? Teleporting vampires, teleporting tree golems. Actually, it's kind of looking like the... Remind me of the guys in Battle for Azeroth. Or Battle for Azeroth ones remind me of these, this guy. So make me think of guys from you know Bioshock. Well, wasn't there some crow thing in Infinite? Do like they kept uh, Igni as the number five hockey throughout the games. Makes ooh nice. God damn, Igni's return uh, return to form. It's, you know, just uh, remember how great it was in one. Still not as powerful, but god damn, is that beautiful. But it's it's nice to have that little carryover, cause um, it makes it easier going between them. You like you already know some of the hockeys. So <laughs> what a dead animation! Fucking wolves appearing out of nowhere. Oh, question dead. Wolf time. And then suddenly the space marines. Meat, monster bone, timber, lesh and resin, lesh and mutagen, black unicorn, lesh and trophy. And this gives 5% bonus XP from monsters. Let's change back to this. These do sell for a fair chunk, which is nice. But let's look at the weapons. Also, I missed out on a cat sword. But remember back where I went down for Radovid? Um, and then the Witch Hunters turned on me? Yeah, there's actually treasure right there. Ooh! Yes, we will put that on. Okay, um, we'll hold off on that for the moment. Uh, apparently we were actually meant to get a letter from Triss before we did the All or Nothing quest, um, and to actually continue it we actually had to read the letter, but for whatever reason I didn't get the letter. Maybe because she got the extra cash. Then again, maybe she was going to get the egg. Uh, it made it sound like she got extra cash because of like we did a previous quest. But um, like maybe that's why I didn't get a letter. Maybe it was something else. I have no idea. But um, so yeah, I can't get Triss to look at this now because of that. But if I finish the uh, Yennefer's quest, the like the quest line in the next place. Um, for di like in Skellig, if I complete the main one there, then I can talk to Yennefer about the the crystal here. I would prefer not to talk to Yennefer, but I have no choice. And I can talk to Triss, I guess, later on about this, considering this hasn't failed yet. I have quite a few D's. Alright. Let's go. Let's go do this. 
we'll probably have to take my loot horror ass and go to a um Uh, shop soon. A uh, village founded by King Griffin in Temeria, husband of uh, Clarissa of Tucson. King had planned to turn Tortoris into a large, bustling university city, a sort of Temerian alternative to Oxford. But as any visitor can quickly attest, its efforts failed utterly. Honor, wisdom, generosity, valor, and compassion. These are the traditional chivalric shiv virtues. As the old saying goes, uh, chivalry is something in Susant. I didn't actually get to read it properly. Show me what you got. Also, didn't we run into the bowers in Witcher 1? And weren't they just like, look like the witch? Oh, boom. Didn't they look like, like the, you know, the witch from like Looney Tunes? Just naked and grey? That's how I always saw them. Not that you ever really got a too good a look at them. Come on. Silver sword. That actually sound is actually rather nauseating. I can feel bile rising in my own mouth. The uh, alterations between some of these are is quite it's rather annoying. And she wasn't there a bandit here. I swear I remember killing bandits. Somewhere over here it is a cache of hidden goods. Mentioned in some letter that I presumably read quite a while back. Fiber, meteorite, ore, long haul, moon dust, bound here to scamson, steel ingot, and elemental residue. Or whatever. Treasure hunts. While passing through a burned down village, Grohl came across a body. After in in indulging in his bizarre habit of searching every rotten corpse that, come that crosses his path, he found the departed individual had been carrying a set of notes written in a very unsteady hand. hand. Uh, figuring these might be the dying man's last words, Grohl decided to read them closely. Soldiers have come. Whether ours or theirs, don't know. Don't really matter a anymore. Heard them riding down the hill. Uh, the, ro the road. Hid. Nailed the door shut. Maybe they won't get in. I spent the whole night killing and raping. I saw it all through the cracks in the wall. Bit my finger to the bone to keep from s screaming. I don't know if anyone else managed to hide. Maybe not. I saw them dragging a Antosh out. He hid in the fields next to the haystack where he'd sash his tanks. They flayed him. Flailed him. Uh, they, they've heard me. No, I'm in here. I didn't know, but not when they pounded. I thought they'd er, burn me out. Just like they did those who hid in the granary. Then they got on their horses, rode off. Quiet now. All I can hear is... The fly circling the bodies, tried to open the door, open the window, dig myself out, make a hole in the wall or the roof. Nothing doing. I heard people who, uh, who came to rob the corpses. Don't know of what, uh, don't know what. All that's left is solid shirts and foot wrappings. Call for help. Th they didn't answer. Only ones who will come now are the ghouls. Even these side quests are, you know, engaging. Okay. Just accidentally mounted there. Don't you hate when that happens? We just accidentally mount.
out of the frying pan into the fire. Christ, you're free. There was actually a guarded treasure here as well. Apparently. We're losing ashes. Are we actually? No, no, they're charred, not ashed. All right. Yeah, basically, I was wondering, like, are we just looting the people themselves? <laughs> Would be funny. In a sense. I do have some things behind. Oh, that's actually beehive. Oh, okay. Just wondering. Blood moss. Uh, Magdara Curus, hunting pants, and some alcohol. I know my boots are damaged, so I'll worry about that at some stage. Once the Evies, uh, Evies, Evies, uh, uh, family stay was located here, and the area board name of Ward Evie's wife, Mort Mortilanka. When the couple died, their will stipulated their land be turned over to the serfs. Grateful peasants then founded a village of freeholders, named after their first elderman, Wurch, who previously served as the Eve's family butler. That was nice of the, um, uh, people. Band account. <laughs> I think the horse just nearly did a guy in here. I'm not surprised. I think horses have a good kick. Well, to be fair, you, you, you do resemble that one, Geralt. Friggin' hell! That was... Ridiculous. That was friggin' ridiculous. Okay, let's head over here. You know, I could actually repair my boots myself, couldn't I? Let's do so. Uh, 